Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about burst transfer and cycle stealing in DMA in computer architecture course, computer organization course and computer organization and architecture course. First of all, what is DMA? DMA stands for Direct Memory Access. Next, what is the purpose of DMA? Without involvement of CPU, IO device wants to transfer some data to the main memory. That means, IO device wants to transfer some data to the main memory without involvement of CPU. But, it can be handled by the DMA controller. Okay, that is the purpose of DMA. Next one, how DMA transfer can be done from IO peripheral device to the main memory? What are the steps we have to follow? The first step is IO peripheral device sends a DMA request to the DMA controller. Once the DMA controller receives the DMA request from the IVO peripheral device, it activates the bus request point and it can be sent it to the CPU. Now the CPU takes the control of the memory buses, it can act as a master. If the CPU is free without any work, then it can activate the bus grant line and send it to the DMA controller by hand over the memory buses to the DMA controller. Now the DMA controller acts as a master and takes the control of the memory buses. Once it receiving the control of the memory buses from the CPU, it can send the DMA acknowledgement to the IO peripheral device. The IO peripheral device receives the DMA acknowledgement, then it transfer the data to the main memory by using the DMA controller. This type of transfer can be done in two ways. First one is burst transfer and the second one is cycle stealing. Before going to the two types of uh, transfers, we have to discuss about block and memory word. Okay, so a block consists of a sequence of memory words. Okay, suppose this block contains five memory words. So, this is memory word 1, this is memory word 2, this is memory word 3, this is memory word 4, this is memory word 5. So, five memory words can be combined as a single block. So, a block consists of five memory words. Okay. Now, in DMA burst transfer, entire block can be transferred in a continuous burst. Okay. Entire block can be transferred from IO peripheral device to the main memory. Okay. For that purpose, we have to use burst transfer. Whereas in the case of cycle stealing, at a time only one memory word is transferred from IO peripheral device to the main memory. After transferring, it can it can uh, it can return the control to the CPU. Next, another memory word is uh, transferred. After which it can return the control to the CPU. In the case of cycle stealing, 
एट के टाइम ओनली वन मेमरी बर्ड इज ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम आईवो पेरिपरल डिवाइस टू द मेन मेमरी वेर एज इन द केस ऑफ बर्स्ट ट्रांसफर सो ऑल द मेमरी बर्ड्स विथ इन ए सिंगल ब्लॉक कैन बी ट्रांसफर एट के टाइम ओके टू ट्रांसफर एंटायर ब्लॉक फ्रॉम आईवो पेरिपरल डिवाइस टू द मेन मेमरी Why DMA controller takes the control of the buses? For that purpose, we have to use burst transfer. To transfer only when one memory bird at a time from IO peripheral device to the uh, main memory, we have to use a concept called cycle stealing. To transfer one memory bird at a time. we have to use cycle stealing concept to transfer entire block we have to use a concept called as burst transfer okay in dma burst transfer a block sequence consisting of number of memory bursts that are transferred at a time in a continuous burst why the dma controller takes the control of the memory buses where data transmission cannot be stopped or are slow down until the entire block is transferred okay in dma burst transfer until the entire block is transferred the dma controller cannot be stopped or or slow down the data transfer where dma burst transfer can be used dma burst transfer can be used in fast devices such as magnetic disk okay dma burst transfer can be used in magnetic disks okay in the case of magnetic disk the data transfer cannot be stopped or or slow down until the entire block is transferred next one in the case of cycle stealing at a time only one memory bird can be transferred through the dma controller from ivo peripheral device to the main memory after transferring one memory bird it can hand over the buses to the cpu okay so the cpu merely delays one memory cycle for direct memory di uh, direct memory transfer okay to steal one memory cycle okay that means in the case of cycle stealing the cpu merely delays its operation one memory cycle to allow direct memory ivo transfer to steal one memory cycle okay to transfer one memory word at a time the cpu merely delays its operation for one memory cycle to allow direct ivo transfer to steal one memory cycle cpu steals one memory cycle to allow direct memory ivo transfer so in the case of cycle stealing at a time only one memory bird can be transferred after which it can it can release the control to the cpu whereas in the case of burst transfer at a time entire block is transferred until the entire block is transferred data transmission cannot be stopped or or slow down okay this type of transfer can be done in fast devices uh, such as magnetic disks 
okay so this is the description about bus transfer and cycle stealing in dma controller it is one of the important concept what is the difference between burst transfer and cycle stealing in the case of burst transfer entire block is transferred from io peripheral device to the main memory where dma controller takes the control of the memory buses in the case of cycle stealing only one memory per at a time that can be transferred from io peripheral device to the main memory after which it transfer the control of the memory buses to the cpu okay so this is the difference between burst transfer and cycle stealing i hope all of you understanding this video if you really understanding this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you really like this video please subscribe my youtube channel devela srinivas rao after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel for better understanding of a dma so please refer the playlist called computer organization or a computer architecture course so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video